Hello YouTube, it is Toy Adventures here again with another figure review. And today we got the camera lifted, so it must mean that we're gonna be reviewing something big. Without further ado, today we're taking a look at the Halo Infinite Mantis with Spartan EVA. So this is brand new. You can see me hi in the uh, reflection. So this is brand, brand new from the, obviously, the Jazz Bros. Halo line. Let me just try and get this in the, the frame. I may have lifted the camera a little too much. Perfect, here we go. Okay, so this is brand new from the Jazzwares Halo three and three quarter inch line. Like, I heard about the announcement one day and then about two or three days later, I found it in Target. So, I mean, I'm so used to with these Jazzwares, you hear about it like at the beginning of the year and then maybe six months later, you might start seeing a couple you know, being found in targets, and then you get to wait even more longer for you to finally find them. But no, these were hauled out. In fact, every target I go to now has the gun goose, has the shade turret, which I have both. I have both the gun goose and the shade turret. So if you guys, of course, want to see reviews of those, just let me know that you want to keep seeing more Halo reviews and I will be happy to oblige. So anyway, they have all those and they have the mantis, a ton of them, just like with the warthog. So uh, there will be no shortage of this thing. Uh, if you guys want to know where you can find this, just go ahead and walk down to your target. Ooh, there's a little, little bit of sauce on it. I guess I was eating something near it. Anyway, so I'm really in love with this, not only because it's the Mantis and it's one of the best new vehicles to come into Halo thanks to 343, if not the best. Uh, you get a really awesome Spartan EVA right here, and I love the colors on it. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that once we open this up. Taking a look here at the back, and finally, with the back, we don't just have a generic picture of Chief anymore. We actually have character lineups. You know, what you can find else in the line. So, in this toy line, we have Spartan EOD, Master Chief, Jack Raider. We have Spartan Calind. Hold on, let me take a look. Calind. Cavaline. Spartan Cavalind, uh, Hyperius, Elite Mercenary. I cannot wait to army build that guy. I want him so bad. And then we have Master Chief versus Tavares. Now I do have the three pack that comes with the active camo chief and the two brute and cap, two brute captains. I don't know what their names are quite by heart yet, but I'll have to take a look at that. We might review that if you guys want to see that. And then we have the UNSC Marine and the Jaguar Raider. We got two different Jaguar Raiders. Great. There's our army builders. We could use those. So these are the two I also have. So if you guys want to see uh, reviews of either the Shade Trent or the Gun Goose or both, just go ahead and let me know and I'll be happy to do that. So that is pretty much it for what is in the box. Let us go ahead and open it. I can't wait. Oh my God, this thing is huge. Oh, hey <laughs> guys. To say I wasn't expecting it to be this big was an understatement. I thought, you know, maximum might be up to here. But this thing is huge. Absolutely huge. Here is the little Spartan it comes with. Absolutely dwarfed by it. So there's our EVA. I mean, I gotta go over size, a quick size comparison. This is the biggest thing I have that can possibly compare to it. And that is my perfect grade uh, Gundam. So let's do a little comparison. This thing still towers over the perfect grade Gundam. And so, but I mean, this thing's huge. Absolutely huge. Uh, it's just hard to put into words just how big they made this mantis. And I'm not sure if this is in scale, but if I, I, I think it might actually be too damn big, but I doubt it, I doubt it. So first, before we take a look at this absolute Titan, I mean, I need the whole space to review it. We're gonna move it aside just for now to take a look at our Spartan. So we're gonna get a little bit more humble before we go on to the big dude. So, this is our new Spartan. You know, nothing new, nothing special, just another Spartan in the uh, one, one routine scale line. But I really like this guy. Look at his colors. They're nice woodland green and this cream all around. These are nice. I, I can imagine this guy running through the woods, shooting up Banished with this awesome Hill of Reach shotgun. I'm so happy. Uh, when I first saw the Bulldog, I was super worried. And I still think that the Bulldog might be the only shotgun in Halo Infinite at launch. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of the Bulldog, to be to be completely honest. I don't really like the look of it. I much prefer the classic Halo shotgun or the Reach shotgun. Honestly, it's a tie between those two because they're just the coolest looking shotguns I've ever seen. 
but uh, just taking a look at his armor, see if there's anything we can, you know, kind of guess about the game. You get knives again, which is cool. The knife is not removable, sadly. Uh, very reach looking Spartan. And I love that. I love, I can't, I can't begin to tell you guys how much I adore Reach and, and hoped that they'd bring back Reach's customization and art style. And they take in it and they mix it with Halo 4 and they mixed it with Halo 3 and they have made the best concoction ever. Like 343 went from making the worst art style ever seen in possibly video games to making the best Halo art style I've seen possibly ever. Like I don't even know if Halo 3, which has my favorite looking Marines, I don't even know if they could compare, can compare. I mean, they're obviously going to be classic, but like, ah, they've just done it so well this time. 343 has really knocked it out of the park, so I'm super happy. Anyway, off my tirade, take a look at the Spartan. Um, you know, the, the articulation is going to be standard. You got a ball, ball, point, uh, ball point right here up at the head. Ball peg, I mean. And uh, losing it right now. Uh, shoulders got a hinge. They don't go up too far. Like I said, you can cut right in there. I said this in my older reviews. You can cut just like a little bit right in there and you get so much more arm movement that you can probably shoulder the shotgun and hold it much better, much more convincing. So, I mean, the articulation, the arm bend right there is, or is pretty weak, uh, you know, for like hardcore 118 scale fans that like all the super articulated figures and they get all the high class stuff. You may want to modify it a bit, but for just like the standard, you know, dude who's just collecting it or maybe you just want to play with these you're like you know a kid want to buy these and play with them this will this will do just fine you can hold a shotgun fairly well this is something i've always loved about jazzwares figures is that i mean some mcfarland figures and the paint was amazing on them on each one but the articulation was iffy from figure to figure uh, some had weird wonky articulation and some had really nice ones but you know what i like about these jazzwares line Come on, get your thumb out so you can hold it. Is that the articulation is more or less universal. All the Spartans will have the same articulation. All the Brutes will have the same articulation and you know, so on and so on. So you can still get them to hold the shotgun just fine. Just, you know, a little finagling, but it can be done. Now mine has kind of a loose leg, kind of weird, but that is not an issue. So the Spartan definitely gets a thumbs up from me. I'm not a quite big fan of EVA helmets, but I can easily just you know, pop and swap the helmet and maybe find a similar color. Probably not, but uh, nevertheless, I very much like this Spartan. Now let's get on to what everyone's here for. Come on, no one came here to watch the EVA. We came here for the absolute behemoth. Now, this thing is gonna oust me out of my chair because I can't sit down and review this. Now, I can't even get proper lighting. I mean, I, I, I don't know how I'm gonna review the, the Apatosaurus when it finally drops. All right, so taking a look at the Mantis. This was introduced in Halo 4 and uh, a fan favorite instantly, at least for me. Nothing quite beats uh, walking around in a giant war mech, destroying everything on the battlefield. That might have uh, kickstarted my love for Gundam early, who knows? Or at least got me in the right mindset to like it. So, uh, go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to start with the articulation because that's kind of an interesting subject when it comes to a mech that is not quite humanoid. So. We're gonna start up here at the top. Of course, you have your little ho uh, opening hatch. Take your Spartan, or really any 119 scale figure. Remember, these are really nice, cheap alternatives to the really expensive Joy Toy Max that you can find. But um, I mean, this thing's only like what 50 bucks. Boom, slap it in there. Any 119 scale figure will fit in there because the Spartans are a little bit bigger than normal figures. Obviously, they're Spartans. So if a Spartan can fit in there, any of your 119 scale figures will fit in there with plenty of room to spare. So, moving down to the hands right here, you have a really interesting articulation. I don't even think I have it fully mastered because sometimes you bend stuff and you feel like the, pr the, the pressure of the plastic not wanting to move, and you're like, okay, well, that doesn't move. So it's a kind of a learning experience. So you have a hinge, the back here, that can hinge back all the way to about there. I'm trying to make sure it's actually on camera because damn, this thing's big. And then you have another hinge Right here, I guess what you'd call the elbow. That can flip out about there. And then moving down here to the arm, it may look like you have a rotation to go like that, but do not, it is not, you will break it. Uh, you have a hinge that goes out like that. So that is what you have for the missile pods. 
and I believe it's the same on the other arm. I mean, look at this giant machine gun. Oh, this thing is so cool. The only thing I think it's lacking is a bit more UNSC logos, but I mean, you can easily buy decals online. Just slap them on there, two second job. So, not a big deal. I would have, you know, kind of preferred one. Oh no, look, there's one right there. I just don't like the uh, Halo 4 UNSC logo. I much prefer the Bungie era one. It's much more cool and much more military. <laughs> anyway, uh, taking a look down here at what would be the hips. Kind of hard to like put human anatomy to the same. Obviously, uh, there is a rotation here at the midsection because this is where you plug the top half into the bottom half and you know, there's still articulation there. So beautiful, beautiful. You can get them turning, looking down. You know, just absolutely unleashing hell upon the battlefield like you should be. So, and then here at the thighs, these can rotate fully. In fact, I think they come unrotated when you when you open it out of the box. I mean, when you get it out of the box, it's all crumpled up in some weird way, and you gotta like, uh, you know, pose it around until you get it back to how it should look. So uh, there is plenty of articulation down here in the legs. It's just you know you gotta be soft and slow with it when you're first getting it out of the box. When you're moving the joints around, be slow with it. You don't. You do not want to break this because uh, it is, you know, relatively expensive. Not, not for like the kind of toys I get, but you know, toys in general, yeah, this thing is pretty, pretty expensive. So right here at the knee, you have a really stiff movement, but that's perfect. You want legs on a mech to be stiff, believe me, especially if it's a heavier mech. I mean, Gundams are pretty light. They look big, like that uh, perfect grade probably looked pretty heavy, but no, it's super, super, super light. And take a look here at the ankle. Yep, you get some movement. It goes in about that far, and it goes out about that far. This is a chicken leg walker. So, you know, kind of ATST vibes going down here. And at the ankle, you get barely any movement. You get some movement down, and that is about far up as it's going. So, you know, combined all that articulation, you have a pretty movable walker now. I know you guys don't really know me for uh, Star Wars stuff. I am I used to be a big Star Wars fan, and then I really fell out of the fandom. I do not like what Disney's doing with it, but that's a completely different tirade. I won't even, you know, I'll spare you guys for sure on that kind of tirade. But I do have something to compare this to. An ATSD. Guys, guys, just take something in. Notice how this Mantis stands so perfectly. Not an issue, like I just pushed it aside. Not a problem. And then we try and get this Black Series uh, ATST to stand. And uh, as you can see, uh, this thing can't stand for the life of it. But here it is. We're gonna just hold it up by the chin. The ATSD is still dwarfed by Halo's uh, chicken leg walker, so get on Star Wars, get on. And uh, yeah, this thing is terrible. I don't know if, if, if all the ATSDs they've made have had legs like these, but these legs are the reason you want very sturdy uh, joints on your legs and a very well thought out balancing system because I don't, I think they've made this to be accurate and not even care if it can stand. They might even plan for you to open this because this thing cannot stand the life of it. But this is not a review on the ATSD, is it? No, it's not. Well, I've pretty much said my piece about this. This thing is beautiful and absolutely enormous. Uh, let's do some size comparisons for some other one-way paint scale vehicles. Now, mech, technically, but mech is a vehicle, depending on how you design it. It really depends on... Before, before, hold on. I know you guys are excited to see comparisons, but I want to give you guys an accurate representation of how tall this thing is. So prepare for me to get completely owned because it seems like this thing is only 12 inches tall, which is baffling. I thought it would have been way, way more. That is crazy to me, honestly. Standing at just about say 13 and a half inches tall. Damn, I was totally off then. Then how big is my, per my perfect gray? 12 inches. That's crazy to me. Alrighty then. So I've been scrambling around my place looking for this. Finally found the Warthog. Could not do this section 
without the Warthog. So here it is compared with Jazzwear's own Warthog. Looks pretty damn good in scale, I gotta say so myself. Just imagining this thing crushing it. Still, this thing feels like it's almost too big. I guess it's not really a bad threaten, is it? Next up is the Covenant, or I guess Banished Ghost. Really not standing a chance here at all. All right, so next we're gonna do something a little more intermediate, not Halo, but something I feel a lot of you may have. And that is the Click and Play or World Peacekeepers Humvee. Once again, not standing quite much of a chance, especially since this vehicle has no armament. Hell, even with its uh, guided rocket, I don't think it would stand too much of a chance up close against the Mantis. There, here it is with the brand new Ford Explorer. So this thing is definitely not gonna be fighting back against the Mantis. Not at all. In fact, this thing may get flipped over and its uh, underside ripped out and its tires ripped off and then pushed off a cliff by the Mantis. You know. Chicken legs looks a little bit like a uh, certain creature that might go well with this. Maybe just mechanized. All right, so that is going to do it for the review. Um, sorry for this review was a little wonky or weird. I'm not quite re used to reviewing something this big and I wasn't quite prepared. Uh, this thing is quite interesting and, and just super awesome. Um, even if you guys are not fans of Halo, which uh, if you're not, come on, play it. Let's go, get with the times, be a Halo fan, let's go. Anyway, if, even if you guys aren't a Halo fan, for whatever reason, weird, you're weird, this would still be an awesome mech to buy. Uh, it's not, you know, like you iconically Halo like the Warthog is. And even then, I've still seen people make custom Cobra Warthogs and completely remove it from Halo. But this is something that, you know, anyone who's into mechs can enjoy and appreciate. It's just a cool mech design along with being an awesome Halo vehicle. Now, Jazzwares has really, uh, you know, made my eyebrow raise with this release because if they're willing to do something this massive, I am praying for a scorpion or a pelican or if they really want to make me happy a falcon actually no, i think a pelican would make me more happy than a falcon a falcon is kind of niche because it's a reach but if i saw a falcon a, a falcon i'd be the happiest man on this planet because i love the falcon i love the scorpion and i adore the pelican so those are the vehicles i really want to see a pelican is definitely a reach i mean this thing is big get it reach this thing is big but it's not quite pelican massive. I think a pelican would be the size of this table almost. So, mm, but a scorpion could definitely be done and a falcon could definitely be done. So Jazz Rose, if you are watching this, please, please, McFarlane let us down. You guys can't. McFarlane let us down. They didn't get us one. You guys must. It's your destiny. Anyway, guys, for the rest of you, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, up next for reviews, I got those attack pack or whatever they're called for Jurassic World, the new, um, you know, small dinosaur size. I can never keep up with the different names I keep giving them. And I have the Godzilla vs. King Kong Playmates Mecha Godzilla to review. Not the Essence Monster Arts one. I know, I'm still getting that one too. But I do have the Playmates one in the meantime. So. Uh, if you quite didn't, you know, this what review wasn't your fancy, don't be worrying because we still got awesome reviews to come. And next Tuesday, we are filming the sequel to the Scorpius Rex movie because uh, we're getting on that quick. I know you guys want to see that content, so we're going to get that up quick. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And this has been Toy Adventures. Signing out. Peace. <clears throat>